Have you ever wondered why a blood red moon feels so electric? Since ancient times, people believed that during a total lunar eclipse, the veil between worlds becomes thinner than ever. It's like the universe is holding open a secret doorway, just for a moment, inviting us to look deeper, beyond the obvious. When the moon turns crimson, old civilizations didn't just see a rare astronomical event. They saw a mirror, one that reflected the hidden sides of human nature, the dark side we all carry, for leaders, for the powerful, for everyday people. This was a time when secrets surfaced, and truths long buried could no longer hide. But here's the twist. What might look negative on the outside is actually a huge chance for growth. Spiritual teachers saw the blood moon as more than an omen. They saw it as a rare opportunity, one that must be faced with resolve, a cosmic invitation to confront my inner shadows. This is not easy. It demands honesty and courage. It's uncomfortable. But growth requires discomfort. But if I'm willing to look, to really see my flaws and own them, I can start to let them go. Not everyone is ready for this kind of honesty. It takes courage. It takes awareness. But the reward? It's freedom. Some ancient religions had a different take. For them, the blood moon wasn't just about darkness. It was a dividing line, a clear separation between light and shadow. In these moments, some people reported visions, vivid dreams, even journeys to parallel realms. Intuition dialed up. Waking life felt like a dream. So next time you see a total lunar eclipse, remember, it's not just a cosmic show. It's a chance to meet yourself, your whole self. If your shadows rise, welcome them, master them, but don't let them pull you into negativity.